Good morning. Welcome to Friday morning, day after Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a great and blessed day. Um, and it's just a great way to start our morning. I have my uh, morning beverage here. And I hope you have your uh, morning beverage with you. And just to start the day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my and mouth shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 148. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels of his. Praise him, all you his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let, your, let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He made them stand fast and forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous wind doing his will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over, over earth and heaven. He has raised up strength for his people and praise for all his loyal servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near to him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God most high, by your word, you created a wondrous universe, and through your spirit you breathed into it the breath of life. Accept creation's hymn of praise from our lips and let the praise that is sung in heaven resound in the hearts of every creature on earth to the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, our first reading today comes from Zechariah. Uh, yeah, Zechariah in the 14th chapter. Let's see, is that here? 14th chapter, beginning with verse 1. Behold, a day is coming for the Lord when the, when the spoil taken away from you will be divided in your midst. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses plundered, and the women raped. Half of the city shall go out into exile, but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then the Lord will go out and fight against those, uh, against those nations, as when he fights a day of battle. On that day his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives that lies before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from the east to, by the, to the west by a very wide valley so that one half of the mountain shall move northward and the other half southward and you shall flee to the valley of my mountain for the valley of the mountain shall reach to Azel and you shall flee as you fled from the earthquake in the days of Uzziah king of Judah then the Lord my God will come and all the holy ones with him on that day there shall be no light cold or frost and there shall be a unique day, which is known to the Lord, neither day nor night, but at evening time there shall be light. On that day, living waters shall flow out of Jerusalem, half of them to the eastern sea and half of them to the western sea. It shall continue in summer as in winter, and the Lord will be king over all the earth. On that day, the Lord will be one and his name one. The whole land shall be turned into a plain from Geba to Raman south of Jerusalem, but Jerusalem shall remain aloft on, on its site from the gate of Benjamin to the place of the former gate to the corner gate and from the tower of Hanel 
to the king's wine presses, and it shall be inhabited, for there shall, shall never again be a decree of utter destruction. Jerusalem shall dwell in security. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be, be to, to God. God. Our second reading comes from Romans, the 15th chapter, beginning with verse 7. Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised to show God's truthfulness to, in order to confirm the promises given to the patriarchs and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy as it is written. Therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing to your name. And again it said, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples extol him. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will come, even he who arises to rule the Gentiles, and him will the Gentiles hope. May the God of hope fill you with all the joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Uh, let's see. That, uh, yes, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the to Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Still this day, thy steady hand is on our souls, Jesus, Son of Mary. Of thy great might, keep us from failing. And in thy deep compassion, never let us go. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Friday morning. And um, if you're out, uh, going, headed out hunting, please be careful. Um, and uh, I hope you are able to get a deer. There's certainly enough uh, enough that's been around and walked in front of me on the roads. So uh, God bless you. Just stay safe. Pastor Matthew will be on this evening for evening prayer. And hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless. Bye-bye. Mm,